Hello and welcome back. I am Big Squirrel. This is Chained Echoes. We are still in Ograin Grottoes, and I'm finally starting to learn how to say it right. Uh, we are hunting down. I've switched the crystal types again, by the way, <laughs> in case you were seeing that in the last episode. We are still hunting down tablets. We're going to go after the fire tablet next. That is such a long jump. It is crazy. There's no way you survive that. Um, yeah. We are going after the fire tablets, which are up this way. Also, last... Ooh, wow, that was a really shiny one. Cool. Um, last episode, I mentioned I was going to be doing some Hanadol stuff so I could get... This is the ultimate thing. A triplet. I think that's a great name for the ultimate leather armor. A doublet is what you normally say. Triplet is even better. And I have done, I think, what my end goal or end game crystals are going to be for Sienna. Uh, these are both, you know, it's attack, crit, HP drain, and HP up so she can survive while doing damage. I found out, and I feel this is important, that's why I'm looking at stats. Uh, the highest you can get someone's agility is 50. There is no going above that. If I switch, okay, it is in part due to having the bandit thing. Um, but Sienna has got the bandit class emblem and the, um, <laughs> I looked at it twice, and two agility ups in here. Agility is capped at 50 because apparently it didn't used to be, but it was so abusable that they decided they had to, <laughs> to uh, do an update. Scholar's habit. Okay, I uh, don't need that anymore. Got better. But yeah, uh, Sienna's going to be hitting really hard and, and going, ooh, cool another one uh, doing a lot of turns there's I don't trust that I don't trust it at all what else is around here flame birds I don't need that okay there's no more chests are there any more well crystals were glowing uh, all right oh not even talking we're just getting straight into it cool let's try quick step one day Sienna's is gonna be able to use this like a lot and I'm going to be so excited when that happens. I don't know if today is that day, though. Um, are you one or two? Chell and Twitone? I don't know if there's a reference to something. I'm going to use this either way. Power and Resalvo, let's do it. Just <laughs> take, a, take a while to build yourself a robot in the middle of a fight. Still love that. It's still ridiculous. Ooh, that... Did a lot of damage. Dark shot. Okay. Dark shot. Paralyzed. Okay, okay. You can do suspicious darts. You still have quick step on. That is a start. Uh, okay. One is weak to... Okay, they have opposite strength and weakness. One's light, dark. The other one's dark, light. Doesn't matter. Oh, that is so much healing off of the HP drain. That is wonderful to see. Uh, paralyze. If we're going to be getting hit with stuff... Let's, let's go for buffs. Um, if we're going to be getting hit with status effects, I may be putting Amalia in. Wow. Your health bar is still already so low. Well, when your non-crits are doing 800 damage, I guess... Wow. Oh, yeah. Words. Resisted. Oh, Pandemic Shadow. That's pan that's like Rob stuff. This is basically like fighting two Robs, it seems like. Which kind of scares me. Let's go ahead and hit you a bunch. Um, yeah. Oh, and so y'all know, the reason I picked Sienna to go ahead and do... Jeez, that was a lot. Uh, to get crystals and stuff on first is because of this damage. I didn't know it was going to be this crazy. I mean, this is with a bunch of buffs and stuff. Uh, agility, crit, strength is up right now. You know, physical damage, all that stuff. It's She's got a lot going on. But... Man. Um, I was going to say some words. I don't even know anymore. It doesn't matter. Oh, we can't see. Chell doesn't have a health bar. Only Twitone does. Huh. Absolutely no slouch there either. I did get some some pretty big crystals and whatnot on. I need to swap. I I should. 
It's the amount of TP that's being burned is the problem. Whatever. Um, yeah, I know Sienna can crit a lot. Oh, not enough to absorb. You must be about dead. Uh, Sienna can crit a lot. She can hit really hard, crit or not. And she can go a lot of turns. So, you know what? Let's hit Shell. Um, I figured she's the easiest to buff up with crystals. Very simple, straightforward. Oh, Shell got mad and ran away. Got a Grimoire Shard. Uh, okay. I don't think there's anything else around to look at much, is there? Okay. That should mean that we can... I'm checking the walls now. I did, like I said last episode, there are maps out there of this place. I don't think there's any other little hidden spots. Cool. I have no idea where we are. Um, yeah. Sienna's the easiest to min-max. Uh, summarized. Done. And everybody else, it's really, at this point, I want stats. I just want to fill up the board so I can get them. Ooh, you had one over there. So I can get the other stat boosts and whatnot. Let's see, you've gotten all of them on either side. This is, this is just slow now. <laughs> it's easy to do, but whatever. I don't know who I'm going to try to min-max next. Mika is pretty straightforward as well. She's got max agility, too, so I, I did start working on her crystals. Hey, speaking of, but I, I need more things like HP up and whatnot. Um, hey, there was the thing that I was looking for. I'll just... Yeah. I don't think there's anything else much. I, I don't know. Fire tablet, done. I don't know if there's anything else around. Any more crystal spots to... Yep, there's one. Ooh, two attack ups. Maybe I'll be able to max out another. Yeah, Sienna's... I do want to show this off because it was... It's a thing. Um, oh, it doesn't show it very well. The crit up and HP drain, I think all of the crystals that she has are at max level. Like they are, or, you know, rank 10 or whatever you would call it. I need to go back here real quick. Wow. <laughs> the, the area even messed up what the map looks like. I need to do this. Because, oh, there's still a buried treasure somewhere. I don't need to figure that one out. It'll probably be an off-camera thing. The urn is full of coins. Put the thing in it. We are going to throw some coins in there. There we go. Take a trip by boat. So I just need to figure out where the last buried treasure is, and then that'll be about it. We are going to go figure out this right now in Perpetua. Let's do that one next. Because up here in the upper right, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I stumbled on this by accident. Up here in the upper right, <laughs> Flower Fields of Perpetua, is another area. You have to get, uh, I forget what it's called, some kind of like bye-bye X or something. A key item will get rid of the vines that were here. I didn't realize that was going to be a thing. Uh, and then I did it, and I couldn't go back and undo it. But you have to sky armor all the way through. You have to fight your way through it. Help us! A competitor to my business. He, he sent an assassin after me and my daughter. We ran and we ended up here. My daughter and the assassin are up ahead. Please rescue her. Yeah, I didn't know that there was going to be like a whole event to all this. Um, I do need chests. Let's see if there's anything around this way. Uh, double steps, yeah, yeah. We'll go ahead and do some buffs before we get started. Come on, quick step. Please. Please stick around for a while. Uh, yes. At least get one turn. Cobweb Taddy? No idea what that's supposed to mean. Oh, wow. That was actually less damage than fighting that other thing. That makes me scared of this area a little bit. Oh, then again, I don't have all of the buffs on. Still need Heroic Ode. I still would need the Strength buff from Mika. Either way. Doing good damage. Oh, come on. <laughs> Quick Step can never just live. All right. We get so many turns compared to these enemies. 
the power of maxing out agility. I'm thinking about putting agility stuff on everybody. Like HP drain and possibly agility stones or crystals. I'm not 100% sure about the agility crystals. Because, like, Victor's is really low. I don't know if he has the lowest in the game or what, but it's really low. So, yeah, getting him some agility would be good. Um, I guess we just kill it? I don't have fire. We should be killing it with fire, but whatever. It's They explode in poison, but it doesn't seem to be doing that much to us. Uh, yeah. Boom. Okay. Toadstones. Good. Oh, something down here. Uh, I'm really just looking to get... Okay. Grab a couple chests, and then I'm not really worried about getting all four. There we go. Nice. I just wanted that, because I got that corner all finished out. To find that last bearing treasure in Ogreen. All right. That means I can kind of just ignore things. Can I ignore the fight? Yes. What are you writing, Sir Raphael? Oh, just a diary, a sacrament of our church. I wonder what he's writing about. My beloved Pope here. Oh my God, there. Today I have sinned. That sort of thing. Oh, he dropped his diary. Hmm. These are drawings? Comics. You don't have to write down your diary, only as text. Comics? Oh, my master used to read those too. They seem to be a popularly popular product in the free cities. May I see it, Sir Raphael? <laughs> uh, I, I would have the same reaction. I like comics. Let's see, which way do I need to go? Which way do I... Just wander. Oh, this is a loop that is existing for some reason. We need to find some assassin. That's that's what matters. Oh, well, okay. I'll take a, a random treasure chest. Man, it looked like... Yeah. It looked like there was a, another loop around. Cool. Now, I know we need to get to the right, because there's no other place we can go. We don't need to use the map a whole bunch of times. Oh, hello. We got to fight them from real far away. Oh, that's right. I was sitting there thinking, wow, how did Mika get to go first? But she and Sienna have the same agility. That's right. Quick Step's not going to stick around. Oh, why am I using my Ultra Move now? We have we have a battle that we saw a boss fight at some point. I should be saving it. Whatever. I want to get through this fight as quickly as possible. If I think I might actually, I won't do it this turn. Hopefully, I'll remember when I get towards the end of the fight. Oh, there goes Quick Step. Sadness. Yeah. Um. Hopefully I'll remember I can put Tomka in, and he can use his uh, what is Sailor Song or whatever that'll raise the Ultra Move Bar a lot. And then we'll be ready for the next fight. Oh, just one? Just one hit? That's That makes me sad. Jeez, that is some good damage. I know for a while there I didn't think Mika's damage was that good. Well, it, it wasn't that good. Unless I got to the, the full Blossom thing. But that has definitely changed now. <laughs> I guess all it takes is getting the best weapon for her in the game. And uh, things such as that. Jeez. Uh, is it worth getting Tomka in here or... Or not? Nah? Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's chill. I'm pretty sure it's in here. 
Yeah. <laughs> he did Victor's song. All right. We won't be starting the next one with the ultra move ready, but we're we're pretty close. There's a lot of toadstones. Okay. All I need to do is go up and to the left. I don't need to. Oh, there's there's no more chests. At most, I would be finding crystals around. It's showing like I can almost go to the left from here. That's weird. H help! Oh, there's the thing I'm after. Please! She's trying to kill me! Oh. Assassin girl. That's it. Red Riding Hood gets revenge. Um, quick step to start. Ultra move to start. Ultra move to start. Yeah, since there's only one enemy, this is going to get an agility buff and a crit buff for Sienna right at the start. There's nothing wrong with that. And then we can start doing double steps and stuff. I didn't want to quick step straight away because I don't know what kind of fight I'm in for here. Thousand daggers? I... Yeah. No, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that even a little bit. Uh, well, this is actually a really good move for Sienna, because she can heal off of hitting things. I need, I need my big heals back in. Yeah. Uh, you can also heal yourself pretty well. But that, that was a move that set our HP to 1. So there's not much reason that I, I feel to put Tomka in to get some more buffs and stuff. Because that... Whoa, what? Enemy is approaching its target. No! You're not allowed to do that. I need more agility. Uh, I don't know if I got Heroic Ode, did I? No, I did not. I've got All Break running. Oh, I'm panicky now. <laughs> if you get to the your target, I think I'm... Do I lose? If that happens? Um, you're on Final Blossom. Okay. Good damage. Okay. Not too bad. I mean, Sienna is doing several thousand damage a turn, so... Cool. Not too bad. Thank you so much! My father's shady business drew the attention of a big rival. They sent an assassin after our family. Oh, father, I have to look after him and return to Warrenshire. I hope he will stop with the dishonest work and move on to something different. Thanks again. You are welcome. And goodbye. Light tablet achieved. And I don't know what I was looking at that made me think I had multiple directions to go. There was there was nothing. Uh, we have, what, one more? Was there anything else? No. Okay. Come on. I can't, I can't use the, the ship from here. What? Unhappy. Um, we'll do it from here then. Oh. What is that? Oh, that looks like the oasis where the fire tablet was. Yeah. Hey, dude. I didn't even see you. I'm on my way to New Warrenshire. Do you want to buy something? Yeah. Absolutely. Let's throw all this stuff out there. And I think there was a new deal. Yeah. I need to get some more fractured souls from down in the uh, Narsling sewers, I think it was. What do you have? Oh, what? Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, we buy all of these. Because there are several people that they just don't have good accessories. Let's see. And this, I'm guessing, is the usual stuff. Okay. These are late game whatchamadoozles. Emperors hide. The only place that drop is, is from uh, Otter Nobunaga, I think. So I'm 
I don't really need money for anything else. I may as well grab these while I'm here. I don't need any ancient carcasses, do I? Divine wool, absolutely. Oops. Uh, yeah, bloodstones, eh. I'll just get them. Yeah, divine wool looks like the hardest to find from around, but a lot of these you can buy from other places as well. Oh, that's right, we got new skills. I don't care. Um, I could go and upgrade some people's gear, but I feel like that's going to be a thing. Kindred Monastery? I did not know I could go back. Where are you? There you are. You. You are the one that I'm after. Um, oh, right. And this is this is in Sky Armors anyway. Should I do this yet? No. Dang, I, <laughs> I just spent a bunch of money on stuff. I totally forgot that we can actually go back to the Hoog and buy the 600 series of, like, everything. Whatever. I've got, at worst, 500 series. And there's not a lot of special I can do there. Hello, buddy. Oh, uh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Okay. Because I can, I can get people's crystals and whatnot sorted out as much as I want, but Sky Armor is not but so customizable. Let's see, there's only one of you, unless you have multiple tentacles. This is like in Narsling Sewers. There was a Kraken thing down there, I believe. What are you? Oh, magic tentacle, physical tentacle, healing. Oh, it's just the three tentacles. Hmm. There are three of them, so I think I can go into second gear with all this. I'm going to do defense break on healing tentacle first. And then we can get Glenn set up. I should not have gone into second gear uh, for some multi-target what's from its things. Weak to wind. They are all weak to wind. Good, good. Start with the healer. Oh, wow. Ah, that heal was too big. Um, we're doing a repair all. <laughs> we are absolutely repairing everybody on our team. Let's see. Just damage on that one. That's all that matters, aside from your stuff. I want enact. Yeah. Let's start with enact now. Oh, it looks like in the upper right there that the the eyeball also gets a turn. Whatever that means. Um... Maybe once we finish off the tentacles, we'll have to do the other stuff as well. We just can't... Tentacle grap? I I feel like some letters got cut off there. Okay, that's one. Dang. Uh, sure. Magic or physical? Physical did more damage. So I'll go with that. Dang, I, I'm overheating because I, I thought the our enemy would get more turns by now. Seize the fallen tentacle. Tentacle rage. Uh hit all. Mmm okay. Not fully panicking. Just just putting that out there. Just mild panicking. Let's see. Hit all sounds worse, so I'm going to go with the silence. It'll keep that one from uh, killing everybody at once. I hope. I don't know what that's supposed to do. Maybe that was something the healing tentacle was going to do. Good. SOS attack up? Sure. A lot of these ram things have multiple passives on them, and they are it's not stated, and that upsets me a little bit. I'm going to do a quick repair on Glenn. Let's go ahead and get you back up mostly to full. Um, you're no longer on attack all mode, but there's only one tentacle left. I really hope this thing is not going to revive them all, especially since I can't hit the main body. That seems weird to me. I thought you were in gear one for some reason. 
Okay, that's not too bad. Can I... Yeah, don't have defense break on that already. I'll do it while she has the TP for it. I'll, I'll do a repair all, yeah. Just keep us topped up, because I don't know what's going to happen next. That piercer does such good damage. I'm scared to come out of... Yeah, I don't want to overheat. Okay. Hmm. Trying to avoid that. Alright. Was that it? Oh. Okay. Well, I guess the assassin and this kraken were, you know, not down in the highest level area, so those fights did feel a little easier. I didn't want to say anything until I'd finished them. <laughs> well, did a shipwreck here? That's a lot of money. There must be the this must be the place where Marilia crashed. I hope most people were able to escape in time. Ah, there's the wind tablet. It was in a thing. The church had it. Repair kit and another bunch of money. So we have not found all of the elemental tablets. Which one am I missing? That will help me find things. Um, let's see. Earth tablet, that's one. Fire. Light. Oh, dark tablet I already turned in. Do, do, do. Where am I missing them? Water and wind. Okay. Have found them all. Oh, bye bye X. That was a thing you needed for the, the weeds in Perpetua. I, maybe it was in the church down there. I don't know. All right. Wait, why am I doing this? Why am I not? I can't teleport. Um, just land again and teleport. Because we need to get down to a place that's awkward to otherwise get to. I'm scared. This... This went so much faster in this one. The last episode, each one was like a big thing. This time around, not so much. It's making a door opening sound and that's that's funny and a little scary. I know what's supposed to happen. That's why I'm doing the ones across the top first. And now it's listing find all elemental tablets. Okay. Oh, uh, this. This is the doorway to the optional mega boss. You know what? Let's do the super boss. We're going to do the super boss. I would I just did a bunch of rambly stuff. I I whew. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to cut that together. I I used everybody's skill points and that it doesn't matter. It's the stuff that doesn't matter. I'm going to go get everybody's gear as good as I can get it and then we are going to do the boss because this episode is going to be short otherwise a little bit and i feel like this is better to fit in here and then next episode i'll be able to go do the actual final boss of the game and all of the story that comes after in one coherent episode <sighs> all right pausing this and then hermit's isle is uh is where i'm gonna be going i <laughs> see you when i get things to oh, i'm gonna cry Okay, I've done a bit of stuff. I did mention that you can buy some upgrade materials. I wanted to show where. We're in Torment. This is the Adventurer's Guild. We can buy a bunch of different stuff here. M yeah, most of what I need right now is this. I need many, many of these. You know what? Since I don't really need the money on anything else... I will get some of these other ones that I know tend to... Oh, you don't have any more of those available. Unfortunate. I don't know if or when these things respawn. So that makes me sad. <laughs> Let's go see, because I know it was New Wernshire. Up here in the black market area, you can buy a bunch of this stuff. Hi, Plat Pie. Um, you can get them... Come on, all the way over here. If the ones at the guild have not reset or anything, then these probably haven't either. 
And I did buy them from all. Okay. Bloodstone's gone. Divine wool is gone. Did I at least keep... Okay. I didn't buy the rainbow ores. But you can see from this, you can get stuff. Uh, it's. I think it's an, enough to upgrade everything. I have most everything pretty well upgraded already, so I don't need too many. Rainbow ore is at the top. Good to remember. Okay. This is... Oh, did I... Actually, I did not buy them. Now it's time for me to go to Hermit's Isle and try to finalize some stuff. Okay. Wish me luck. I'll see you back at the place. All right. We are here. Uh, <laughs> it's... It's time. I don't have everybody's stuff perfect. Sienna and... <laughs> Sienna's the only one with what I would call, like, the, the crystals that I think are perfect right now um, on her stuff. I know some people are going to want to see the setup of class emblem accessory, things like that. Uh, just some general mind and survivability agility for Victor. Don't want him getting stuck with some things. Um, yeah, just generically magic and healing sh for Shaman. Bracelet of power because I had nothing else. Glenn, it's kind of just survive and do some damage kind of quickly. It's not super important. Yeah, Mika, I had no idea for her armor. I kind of ran out of stuff. <laughs> Lynn, as much magic damage as I can get. Her magic stat is 205. It's the highest I could do. I did not bother with the magic pollens because her crit is just not going to get high enough for that. Amalia, I really wasn't sure on the rubber duck. Yeah, and it's just a lot of mind up, some HP up, and then an ability to get some TP back if need be. Because it's what would fit in the, the slot that I had available. Oh, lots of mind for our dude Raphael. So that he can be a healing tank. And Tomka, just sort of generically good for things. I didn't know what to do with him, so he's just sort of got stuff. A lot of magic up, because the moves he's going to be doing for damage are magic-oriented. Let's do one more save. Let's do one more save <laughs> before I run in here. Just in case. Just in case something happens. Oh, all right. I see. The seal is finally broken. So my supposed never-ending sleep does indeed come to an end. These cowards sealed me here, thinking that with my death the War of the Thousand Realms would end. Here, on this godforsaken island, away from any semblance of a civilization. But now I am free again. The world will once again kneel in fear of my return, for I am the ruler of the Eastern Realms, founder of the Genos, son of Phantrum, destroyer of the true kings, first of his name, God King Gamdriel. Now I shall bestow upon you the reward for releasing me. Let me vanquish your vessel and free your souls from the bonds of human flesh. I don't think they're all human. I mean, we got an R. We have a goat man. Uh, it's kind of all over the place. I'm not going to start with some of the stuff I normally would. I'm going to start with an ultra move. Get the agility and crit buffs off of that. How's your damage look here? Okay, crit for two and a half thousand. That's good. That's a good start of damage. Double steps. I want to go as much as possible. Hey, Victor's not like way back there in the thing now. The agility up uh, crystal that I gave him is not bad. Okay, okay. Just the usual we're getting started kind of things right now. And you are already kind of getting nuts. Let's quick step. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have any clue what we're up against on this one. I didn't want to spoil this fight for myself. Uh, yeah. We'll do one more buff, and then we'll start attacking on our next round of things. Okay. A gentle start. The quick step's gone. I knew it. So you have act thrice, and you're in physical mode? 
Okay. I don't really like that, but okay. Glenn laying the smack down a little bit there. I like it. Whew. Those were almost 1,500 each. That was almost 6,000 damage. Yeah. Absolutely. Pretty good. The, the Their self-healing is kind of crazy. Sienna and Mika have some... Oh, they can more than heal themselves to full every turn. I'm going to go for a Valor Minuet. Because I'm going to need the TP on these. Um, yeah. There's got to be more than one phase. Because this dude's health bar is already pretty low. I'm surprised there is a health bar. This is a trap of some kind, right? 4,000, that's really good. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way. This is... We got hit once. I know we get a lot of turns. That's a joke, right? The bosses leading up to this were harder. Why did I worry so much? Is that a super boss? Did I... Did I... Out-level it? Achievement unlock God King. This long sleep must have taken its toll on me. You've accomplished what no one else before you was capable of. You have my respect, Slayer of Kings. In this world ruled by the strong, you can walk with your head held high. Fare thee well. Thanks. What? I think I may have outstatus. Like, honestly, I did not change gem or crystals that much or equipment. Like, just the barest bits of stat bonuses and stuff. And that was much easier than most of the fights that we did to get these tablets. The dude got one turn. That's a god king? Oh, yeah. I never did go and get that buried treasure. Well, this is what we get. I know that. This is the king monument. Our, our crystal looks really cool back on Hermit's Isle now. Uh... All right. You know what? I'm so disappointed. I'm just I'm just going to end on on trying to find this last uh, thing in Orgrin Grottoes. Okay, I know this isn't the crystal that I went to <laughs> that you saw, but uh, it's the one that I'm going to because I think yeah, there is one in this area somewhere. I don't remember if I got this one or not. Um, oh, there it is. Three out of three. Last one. That was about as exciting as fighting the God King. Man, I was so worked up for that. We've now finished the reward board. We've beaten the God King. We have some new skills, but I don't care. Um, <laughs> I don't really, I'm not actually that salty about it. Um, I built that up a lot in my head, and it turned out to not be as much as I thought. Maybe it's because I've done so much other stuff. Like, I've done literally everything that you can. Aside from, like, I've got all the reward board. We've done all of the monsters. I've got all of the ultimate weapons and armors leveled up. I've got a pretty good set of crystals, you know, if you average everybody's stuff out. There's just one deal that I haven't finished, and it's because I need to go back down into Narsling sewers and fight the dudes that were standing on treasure chests. And I'm just standing in a random spot in Ogre and Grottos. We're going to... Let's, let's at least go back and stand next to this. Because it... It took a lot to get here. Even if that fight was not what I thought it would be... It, it took a lot of fights to get the tablets to get to this point. So, yeah. Alright. It's a cool looking statue. And I'm okay with that. Next episode will probably be the last one. Um, we'll be going down to... Whatchamaplace. <laughs> oh, I wore myself out getting worried about that boss. Um, we'll be we'll be going and looking for Gwen back in Nyssa. And that should be leading up to the final boss of the game and whatever comes after. So, Yeah. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I do really hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope 
run around and finding these bosses and, and tablets and stuff was helpful for anybody that might be stuck on something. Um, the liking, subscribing, Patreon link in the description, link to the second channel is down there too, and I will see you in my next video. Later.